Hello everyone. I wanted to let you know what we've been doing on the lobbying front for the past six weeks or so and to ask for your help. We've been talking regularly for several months with the CDC, members of the Senate Committee on Health, Finance, Labor and Pensions, the Senate Finance Committee, the National Governors Association, individual governors, uh, offices. We've been collaborating with the American Academy of Family Physicians, the American College of Emergency Medicine, the American Telemedicine Association, um, and ASPR Tracy, which is the emergency preparedness arm of HHS. We've also been talking with many of our vendor partners that supply many of your centers. We've had three main goals in these conversations. The first is to make lawmakers aware that there are 10,000 urgent care centers that should be part of the testing, care, and vaccination planning uh, for COVID-19. We also want to ensure that we are high on the list for supplies, not just for tests and vaccines when they're ready, but also for PPE and just our regular day-to-day -day supplies that are critical for us to be part of this. The third is to educate them on the cost of tests and the global rate reimbursements many of you are under that are impeding our ability to really help slow the spread of this virus. You've seen stories, particularly this week, about CVS and their 1,800 clinics being part of the solution. There are 10,000 urgent care centers and we are not in the news. And that's because we're not currently using our collective voice well enough, which is where we need you individually to get involved. Politics is not why any of us got into urgent care, but right now that is the job. So we've got to make our Congress people and governors understand that we are here and what we can do. If you have not already been having those conversations or think other people are going to do it, or it's just UCA that has to do it, you are wrong. You've got to help us. So please respond to our call of action today. We have talking points for you to use as well, we, which are on our COVID-19 resource page. We have a new public service announcement coming out today. It's a great video from our friends at Braid Health that you can use. All of it is covered in today's UC Access newsletter. It's probably going to take all of us to get any of these changes to the finish line, and we don't have a lot of time, so please join the fight today. Thank you very much.